Hey guys, Happy New Year! I know we are already a few weeks into the new year, but this is the very first video for me on my channel in the year 2017 and I'm ready to kick some butt in the kitchen. For today's episode, I was thinking of making a dish that is really close to my heart. It's a variety on the dish that my mom used to make when I was little. I'm going to make cabbage rolls, but this time I'm going to make them slightly different than the golupse, the Russian version that my mama used to make. My cabbage rolls are vegetarian and I'm also going to sneak in some Chinese flavors with a sweet and sour sauce and some five spice. This is what you need. Cabbage, white rice, shiitake mushrooms, spring onion, garlic, Chinese five spice, tomato puree, coconut sugar, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, arrowroot powder or cornstarch, chili powder, ginger, salt, and this one is optional, some pepper and sesame seeds. First step will be the filling and for that I'll be cooking up some rice and I am a big believer in whole grain products and brown rice but for this recipe white rice works better, it's softer and the texture just fits the recipe and here is a good trick on how to cook perfect rice I learned it from my mom-in-law who is Indonesian one and a half cup of rice that's about 180 grams I would say some salt now cover the rice with water and the level of the water should be one inch above the rice as you can see, my water is quite cloudy. That's because I didn't rinse the rice. I'd like to keep the starches. And uh, if I would rinse the rice, I would wash off the starches. And starchy rice makes more sticky filling. Lid on, bring it up to a boil. And as soon as the water is boiling, lower the heat to a minimum and then simmer until the rice has absorbed all of the water. Now let's chop up the shiitake mushrooms. Remove the stem. and I just roughly chop them. You need about 150 grams. And I don't want to throw out my stems, so I'm just going to cut them real fine because they're a little bit tough. Heat up some oil in a skillet and saute the mushrooms until they are golden brown and add a tablespoon of soy sauce and some crushed garlic at the end. My rice is done cooking, fluff it up with a fork, add the mushrooms, chop up the spring onion. So when you start to tear up when you're chopping your spring onion, that means your knife is too blunt. You should sharpen your knife. Add them to the rice. Most of the time I'll add another vegetable like frozen peas or some grated carrot. Just sneak in some veggies for the kids. And to give it that authentic Chinese flavor, I'm adding some Chinese five spice. And be really careful with this spice because it can be really overpowering. I'm adding a quarter of a teaspoon. Quick taste test. The salt level is okay just the way I like it. If you want it more salty, just add more soy sauce or salt. So next we'll be needing some cabbage leaves and I'm going to cut out the core. Now I'm going to try to take off the leaves just like that, but usually it helps when you plunge the cabbage in some boiling water. So I managed to take off eight cabbage leaves, which is perfect for four people. And what I want to do next is blanch them in hot boiling water. By the way, if you don't know what to do with the leftover cabbage, you can cut it up and saute it uh, along with your mushrooms and add it to the filling. Also very delicious. The cabbage leaves are going in, in batches. Blanch them for about a minute, depending on how tough your leaves are. While my cabbage leaves are cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and start with the sweet and sour sauce. Now over low heat, warm up some oil, a fat clove of garlic, 
or two little ones. Some fresh grated ginger. Add your tomato puree. Three tablespoons. Some chili powder to taste. You can use cayenne pepper or chili flakes. Cover it with 500 ml of water. Bring it up to a simmer. Soy sauce. I start with the tablespoon and adjust the flavor later. The sweet and sour part. Let's start with the apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons. My coconut sugar. Two tablespoons. Now I'm letting it simmer for a few minutes to reduce. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start with rolling up the cabbage rolls. One leaf, trim off this tough bit to make the rolling easier. There we go. Turn it over. Spoon in the filling. generous amount but not too much you want to be able to roll it up okay this is a lot of filling but it's a large leaf so it doesn't matter roll it up nice and tight halfway now fold it in There you go. So here they are, eight pretty little cabbage rolls. Back to the sauce. It's been simmering for about 10 minutes and I'm going to adjust the saltiness with salt and not soy sauce. So never rely on anyone's taste buds but yours because everyone is different. Just check the sauce for yourself, see how the balance is between the sweet and the sour and the salty. All right, so now we need a little thickening. And for that, I'm going to use arrowroot powder, one tablespoon and one tablespoon of water. Now you can substitute the arrowroot with cornstarch. And I'm adding one more tablespoon of sugar. The cabbage rolls are ready to go and join the sauce in the pan. And finally, I'd like to add some sweet peppers. I'm covering it up with a smaller lid because I need space on the sides to let the fluids evaporate and reduce the sauce. Okay, dinner is ready. This is Russian nostalgia meets Chinese takeout. It doesn't get more comfort food than that. Thank you so much for joining me on my first episode of 2017. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.